Hey, what's up everyone? Today we're talking about Ascend the End, which is a third person competitive shooter built on the Neon blockchain. Ascend the End is an extraction style game similar to Escape from Tarkov or Activision's new Warzone game mode DMZ. Basically, if you go out into the world and you don't extract with your stuff and die, you lose your stuff. So let's check it out. Alright, so this is where we start in kind of like your dressing room, your locker room, whatnot. So you walk out into the main world here and first of all to your right we have the crafting bench. So at the crafting bench this is where you can craft uh, weapons better than your own, you can craft ammo, other consumables, or you can dismantle the weapons that you have found out in the open world. So for here um, you can see that you use iron scraps and copper ore to craft your weapons which are resources you find out in the open world. You'll want to hang on to them. You'll also um, use those to craft your ammo in case you run out. Other consumables such as grenades and health packs. And again this is where you can dismantle guns that you find out in the open world to claim extra resources. So uh, after you leave your craft bench right out into this room you've got your personal storage where you can see that I've crafted the assault rifle t3 which is the best one you can craft the order to help you remember it goes green then blue then purple for the best and I've only got the blue handgun because I didn't have enough iron scrap to craft a better one so um, one thing to note as this is uh, an extraction style game anything that's not in your stash here and is on your backpack, if you die in the open world, you will lose all of that stuff. So um, it's a good idea not to take any extra ammo and stuff that you don't need. I'll keep like one bandage with me and I keep AR ammo because I've got an assault rifle and some handgun ammo for my secondary. And then uh, we'll show you the arena after. Next we have the bionics lab. So at the Bionics Lab is where you can upgrade your exosuits. Currently we have the Grunt exosuit and the Defender exosuit. So the Grunt exosuit is the bedrock of the mechanized infantry of the old world. The Grunt exosuit is still a prized possession. With its balance of offensive and defensive capacity, the suit is a massive force multiplier for anyone who uses it. And the abilities are critical damage, which you can increase your damage by 15% for 3 seconds on use. And there's a two minute cooldown or shield rush where you regenerate 100% of your shield um, and it takes a minute and a half cooldown. And then you've also got the defender exosuit, which is more, uh, this is more of an attacker, this is more defense. So the defender exosuit's primary purpose is to keep the user inside alive and well. The same suit does this with remarkable effectiveness, even though the high level of protection comes with some drawbacks. So the abilities on this suit are deep wound, which inflicts a five second deep wound that does damage over time to inflict bleeding, for example, and iron skin, which you can increase your damage reduction by 20% for six seconds if you're in a tight pickle. So um, as you can see, um, I've got both exosuits here and now the tech tree with them. Uh, you use your copper ore and your iron bits for to upgrade your tech tree. I've um, played enough to max mine out. So this is where you would up, uh, upgrade your skills, upgrade your defense, your health regeneration, your sprint speed, your reload speed, and you, uh, like I said, it uses the same resources that you collect out in the world, being copper and iron, to level up. We've got um, that suit, sorry, and then our defender suit here, which you can see the skills and the tech tree will also power up your skills as you uh, level them up as well. So this skill starts where you increase damage reduction by 20% for 6 seconds, but all the way leveled up it increases damage reduction by 60%. 
So um, a good thing to do would be to level up your tech tree with the resources that you get to allow you to take on um, stronger enemies and more combat. So now we will go to the arena selection. We will go to Angel Hill 2. Um, make sure here we don't want anything that we don't need. So I'm going to leave all my ore here so I don't die with them. Leave all my extra ammo and we will go. And now you can see we spawn with a shield, a little bit of spawn protection so that we don't spawn in and die right away and lose all of our gear. Um, those green spots that you can see, those are what the extraction points look like up there. Um, you can see them on your map as well. There's one here, down here, 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 and there. So if you don't make it to an extraction point, you will lose all your equipment. So what we're going to do is we'll... um gather up some resources. So also this game was built in the Unreal Engine 5. You can see how big the world is, how crisp and clear everything looks. So what we'll do is come up here. Oops. I want to take all the resources. Come up here. Take all of that. The more resources, the better. Then I can upgrade my handgun. Um, oh fell lost some health there take all this um, let's loot this and there will be ai as well as other players here that will be attempting to kill you and take all of your loot so let's see oh as you can see there's some guys over here let's go take out this guy Gotta reload. Oh, terrible shots. Oh man, they're everywhere. Dead. Okay. And oh shit. Get out of here. Get behind cover for a minute. Um, let my shield come back. There we go. Okay, over there. Let me see if I can grab this now. Take all. Take all. Take all that stuff. Actually, um, put those down there, and I'll take that pistol too. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, let's go back over here. Oh. Reload. Take all that ammo. And now we will go back here and extract. So you can see here uh, how many kills you got, how much damage and experience, how many chests you opened, and how many quests you completed. And then on the right is all of the ammo and... Uh, loot that I got you can see I picked up these guns some iron scrap and some copper ore so we will exit now and now that I'm in my main base I'll go back to um, first of all I'm gonna go to the craft bench here I'm going to oh I gotta put my stuff in my stash so go to my personal storage we'll put all of the iron scrap in here and the ammo um, oh um, warning here, letting me know that I took out off my handgun ammo and I don't have any, so I'll put that back. Um, assault rifle ammo will keep there. My ore, keep that bandage on me. Now I will go back over to the crafting bench, and you can see I can um, dismantle this gun, and it will give me these resources. So we'll dismantle that, dismantle that, and now we're good there um, actually let's see if I can craft the better pistol so yes I can I can craft the t3 handgun so let's craft that go back to our personal storage here give ourselves the good handgun and then we can go back craft dismantle this pistol get some resources back done 
And just like that, we now have the best um, pistol and assault rifle in the game. So that's a quick uh, rundown of grabbing supplies, going out to the arena, and upgrading your exosuit. Please uh, let me know what you thought of this game and if you're looking forward to it. And also, uh, this is a Web3 game, so you will have full control of all of your assets. They will be fully tradable. You can buy, sell them, hold them for real world value. That is the power of the blockchain. And this is on the Neon blockchain where you can use their Neon token in other games by this uh, company as well. So follow them for updates and follow me if you'd like to keep um, if you'd like to keep updated with their projects as well. I will be working with them in the future to showcase some of their other games. So I hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think. Thanks.